climate change has become a global concern over the last few decades. Besides, these climate changes affect life on the Earth in various ways. Long-term changes in temperature and weather patterns are referred to as climate change. Effects are global in nature and extraordinary in scale, including from changing weather patterns that threaten food production to rising sea levels that increase the risk of sea life. Adjusting to these effects in the future will be more difficult and costly if dramatic action is not taken by today. The Philippines tops a list of countries most susceptible to hazards caused by climate change. Tuwing sampung taon, merong malaking bahang na gaganap. 1978, malaking bahang. Tapos sa sampung taon, 1988, malaking baha ulit. Tapos sa sampung taon, 1999, malaking baha na naman. Tropical Storm Undoy, 2009, dinali na naman kami. Sampung taon na naman. Ito yung lahat ay nagmula sa pag-iinit ng, ng klima. Climate change na ito. Government and corporations must make large financial commitments to climate change. One important step is develop countries to follow through on their plan to pay the developing countries so that they may adjust and transition to greener economies. We require more specific strategies as well as greater ambition for more countries and corporations. We need all financial institutions, public and private, to commit to the green economy once and for all. Now, wala na lahat siya. Nawala na lahat yan sa takbo ng panahon, sa dami ng tao, dumami ang mga bahay, mga bukirin, naging semento na. At ang kapalit ay pagbaha, pagdumi ng ilog, at nawala ang mga bukirin. Dumami ang tao. Dikit-dikit na kami. Binabaha na kami. Nagkaroon ng problema. Nakita ko sa lugar. Naobserbahan ko lugar galing kong Maynila. Naobserbahan ko lugar. Kinakailangan ugatin ang problema ng climate change. Kinakailangan may may karapatang kilos ang mga tao. Lahat ng tao ay meron din kakayahan makatulong sa pagsagka ng climate change. Whenever we are in the office, in the store, in the factory, in and out of our homes, on the street or at the school, there are so many opportunities to use to save energy. within the school or campus. Green initiatives have been co common in school and universities since the 1990s. Most of them has been introduced as a way of saving or a part of environmental education program. They can also help reduce emission 
in each community. There is so much we can relate to the reduced greenhouse gas emissions. And it's great to start with our homes. Here are some ways to reduce emissions. Make our home warm and save money as well. Hindi lang unawa eh. Isang level yung unawa. Pero mas malalim pa ay yung kilos. Pagkatanin, tulad ng ginagawa namin dito sa pukul tao, sa mga pamayanan, huwag magsunog ng basura. Mga aktibidad na unti-unting bumubuwag sa normal na estado ng greenhouse effect. Ang mga singaw na nagmumula sa human activities ay umaanib, tumadagdag sa natural na greenhouse gases sa himpapawid. Dahilan upang ito ay kumapal. Sa sobrang kapal ngayon ng greenhouse gases, ang enerhiyang tumatalbog sa ibabaw ng lupa na dapat napunta sa kalawakan ay hindi na makakaalpas. Barado na ang lagusan. Sa halip, ito ay nakukulong. Nakukulog sa ating papawirin at nagdudulot ng sobra-sobrang init. The Kyoto Protocol. So the Kyoto Protocol was adopted on 11th of December 1997. Owing to complex ratification process, it entered into force in February 16, 2005. And currently, there are 192 parties to the Kyoto Protocol. So in short, the Kyoto Protocol operationalized the United Nations Framework's Conventions on Climate Change by committing industrialized countries and economies and transitions to limit and reduce greenhouse gas emissions in coordinance with agreed individual targets. So the convention itself only asks those countries to adopt policies and measures on mitigations and to report periodically. The Montreal Protocol. So the Montreal Protocol was finalized in 1987. It is a global agreement to protect the stratospheric ozone layer by phasing out the production and consumption of ozone depleting substances or ODS. The Montreal Protocol was proven to be innovative and successful and it is the first treaty to achieve universal, universal ratification by all countries in the world. So leveraging this worldwide participation, the Montreal Protocol 
plus is spurred global investment in alternative technologies, many developed by U.S. countries and placed at the ozone layer, which, ha which was in peril on a path to repair. Safety tips about climate change. So, number one is climate change is starting to irresistibly alter our heart. The warming of the planet has coincided with more frequent extreme weather events such as from the high temperature and heat waves through heavy rainfall, storms, and flood during summer and winter months. Temperature extremes can contribute to smog formation. Smog is a type of air pollution made up of smoke, ozone, nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxide, and other patric particulate matters, it can have harmful ha health effects, especially for older travelers, children, and individuals with pre existing pulmonary or heart condition such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, heart disease, extreme hot or cold temperature. Can also exacerbate existing heart and lung condition and lead to heat related illness so heat cramps heat exhaustion heat stroke or cold related illness cold hives trench foot frostbite leave a minimal footprints wherever you go strive to minimize your impact by reducing the waste you produce and the energy you use at home, it can be easy not to think about the ways we dispose of daily. We put things in bins and then they disappear. However, in many countries, recycling and waste disposal system are, really, are limited or non-existent without this system. In place, the surroundings environment can become polluted and the risk of waterborne infection increases. Did you know that the warming of the atmosphere affects weather patterns, causing more frequent and severe storms and droughts across many global regions? Because higher temperatures are affecting the length of the seasons and in some places are already crossing safe levels for ecosystems and humans. All these impacts and many, many others will become more severe if we don't act to stop greenhouse gas emissions. Did you know that changing climates directly and indirectly cause stress to animals across the world? Many species are approaching or have already reached the limit of where they can go to find hospitable climates. In the polar regions, animals like polar bears that live on the polar ice are now struggling to survive as that ice melts. It's not just how climate change affects an animal directly. It's about how the warming climate affects the ecosystem and food chain that animal has adapted to. Did you know that deforestation contributes to climate change? Forests are one of our most important types of natural carbon storage. So when forests get cut down, they lose their ability to store the greenhouse gas. Burning trees release even more carbon into the atmosphere. Forests are some of the best natural climate solutions we have on this planet. Therefore, you can be part of the climate change solution. It is important that we use our voices to take an action against climate change. We encourage everyone to do one of the most simplest and most important things that everyone can do is to talk about climate change with family and friends.
pangunahing panatandaan ng global warming. Ito ang pagbago-bago ng klima na nagaganap sa lahat ng panig ng mundo. Ang mga pisikal na katibayan ay naiparamdam na. At mulit-muli kapag patuloy na nagpabaya tayo, ay mararamdaman natin. Mulit-muli ay sasamakayin tayo. Ang mga nagaganap natin ng climate change ay hindi natin maaaring talikuran o takasan. Ang mga ito ay kadikit ng ating buhay. Apektado ng mga ito ang ating paligid, ang mga lugar na ating tinitirahan. Ngunit higit sa mga pagbabago ay ang tindi ng dulot ng mga ito sa ating mga sarili, sa ating buhay, ngayon at sa hinaharap. Pero ako isang tao lamang, isang simple mamaya, tumatanda na. Pero sinasabi ko ngayon dito, dinanas ko ang magandang kapaligiran. Ito na nga, ang bana ang climate change. Nandito na tayo. Gawin natin ang bawat makakaya natin gawin. Pwede pa.